When I was in the park today morning, I heard someone calling me, Hey Murli. The sound was very familiar. I turned around and saw, and what a surprise. It was my dear most friend, whom I have not met for three years. After inquiring about our families, he said, Murli, I saw your video on approaching a problem, and it was very interesting. So I asked him, tell me, you know, what did you find it very interesting? He explained me exactly all that I had mentioned there. He spoke about the comfort zone. He spoke about the I zone, which is the intermediate zone. He spoke about the goal zone. I thanked him for that uh, comment. And then he went on to explain, Murli, you know what? I remember each and every point that you had mentioned in that video right from the comfort zone which you call C zone, the intermediate zone, the I zone, the G zone which is the go zone. He said what was appealing to me, he said Murli, the intermediate zone is a very challenging zone where we face a lot of problems and generally people take a U-turn when they hit this intermediate zone when they find a lot of hurdles in that. But you have very clearly explained how to handle the problem in this intermediate zone. He went on to explain to me and I was taken by surprise. The problem is of two types. I still remember that type one, type two. And you had mentioned about CDS and CDA that is can do something and cannot do anything. And if for the type one problem, if we can do something about it, there are three types of behaviors. The JDI, which is just do it the KQ which is keep quiet and uh, the JCB where people just justify complain and blame. Suppose if it is a type 2 problem then some people are still JCB and some people are still KQ and they keep quiet whereas some people are in the green zone that is they move towards the goal zone by TS attitude which is take support attitude and uh, he told me uh, the biggest takeaway for me is Today, whenever I'm facing practical problems and whenever I'm facing the hurdles, I'm thinking about myself as what type of behavior that I'm uh, exhibiting so that uh, whether I'm going away from the intermediary zone to the comfort zone or to the goal zone. Some people like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Dhirubhai Ambani have gone from rags to riches. Whereas some people are still leading a very, very mediocre life. What is that quality in people that motivates them to go from this point A to point B and achieve higher things in life? I thought for a while and I recalled a theory which I had learned many years back during my management classes. And this theory was from Abraham Maslow, an American psychologist. And he published an article way back in 1943 with the heading theory of motivation. I started explaining the five levels of hierarchy of human needs as described by Maslow. He was looking at me curiously without a blink. The first level is the physiological needs and what is this physiological need it is the basic need like food water air shelter even reproduction the goal of such people is just you know they live day to day they want the daily wages and they were just looking for that day meal and a place to stay for that day and that's it that's a goal for those people the second level in the hierarchy is safety. Safety and security. It can be personal or family security. They are looking for security in their job. They are looking for security of health. So the goals that they set is normally a sort of a health goal or probably they want to save money for the future. So these are the type of people who elevate from the basic need to a sort of a safety need and these two level one and level two needs are called the basic needs the third level 
is love or belongingness these are the people who are looking for relationships they are looking for friendships probably they are looking for intimacy and what are the type of goals that these people set these people have a relationship goal probably they will have a goal on developing their emotional intelligence also the fourth level is self esteem these are the people who have graduated from the love belongingness and they go to the next level of looking for status in the society or reward and recognition or probably a power position and what sort of goals that these people set these people have probably to acquire the next degree or to have a promotion in their job so they are always looking for goals which would increase their present status in the society this third level which is love or belongingness and the fourth level which is self esteem these are termed by maslow as psychological needs and the final level once they have crossed the basic needs once they have crossed the psychological needs they go to the final level which is actually the level of self actualization these are people without any prejudice they are people having high morality they have good thinking abilities and good problem solving abilities they are willing to accept the facts in a very matured way and what sort of goals that these people set these people are people who want to add value to others they also act very selflessly many times like they will take a goal of taking care of an orphanage or you know solving a particular problem in the society and these are the people go to the village and say that i want to help the farmers in this village okay to summarize these five levels the first level that we saw was the physiological needs that is the food water shelter air the second level was safety security both for self as well as for the family the third level was more of love and belongingness they look forward to friendship relationship and probably intimacy the fourth level is self esteem they are looking for reward recognitions the status in the society and the final level which is the fifth level is self actualization they are the people with high morality they add value to others they are good problem solving type of people soon after i completed this my friend jumped and said quickly you know what probably i think i'm i'm in level 4 of self esteem you know i'm looking forward to that next job probably that i want to achieve something in uh, my career but really i sort of gone into level 5 also where i am actually every week that he goes to um, orphanage in a nearby village and try to help those people so each one of us are at different levels of course we have crossed the basic level most of us and we are now looking forward to probably level 3 which is love belongingness or level 4 which is self esteem you know we want to achieve something to gain status in the society which level are you in please share in the comments below for those who are seeing this video for the first time my name is murli people call me lean murli because i am a lean specialist i am the founder of value enablers academy and i am on a mission to help 1 million young professionals become lean champions i thank you for watching this in the next session let us discuss about goal setting personal goals as well as business goals we will also discuss in depth about the way to achieve them just click the logo below to subscribe so that you will get notified of that video when i post it thank you for watching